Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So today I'm going to be telling you some of the things that we're going to get in SSO in 2023 and the following years. Stacey Place, who is a game director, gave an interview about all of the things that are going on and all of the things that we're going to get. So I thought that I would just talk about them for a bit. But this video is going to be kind of like short, I'm just going to list them. It is very exciting, but I am planning on making like a bigger video because, because together the interview was over an hour long and today I don't really have time to, you know, thoroughly go over that. But I still really wanted to share it because I am excited. But as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, make sure to subscribe, it really means a lot and now let's get into it. So I just wanted to give this kind of disclaimer that even though I am very excited about all of the things that Stacy talked about, I don't actually know when or if we'll actually get this. Um, I'm going to go over all of these things more in depth in my other video than I'm gonna do because, again, I don't have time. I feel like I have to kind of plan this kind of video. But I feel like Starcy will always set like this really high impossible goals with themselves and then never delivers. So I wouldn't like count on basically most of the things that I'm going to talk about for 2023 because we can see with updated characters they said that we'll get them in 2021 now they're like late 2023 things like that they said this about a bunch of things and honestly if you look at like star stable's year in review or you know what you can expect for the following year if you go there and check the things, honestly, I feel like it's better to just count the things that we did get because it's gonna be shorter. Anyway, some of the things are very exciting and with this kind of disclaimer out of the way, let's just talk about all of this because it is very exciting if we ever get it. Maybe by the point we get all of these things, I'm already gonna have children, maybe even grandchildren. But again, I just wanted to talk about it it's quite interesting, so let's get into it. The most exciting thing for me is definitely horse bonding. So they talked quite in depth about horse bonding and they're planning to release it before the equestrian center. To do horse bonding, you would have to unlock some features, like you would have to level up your horse to a certain level, maybe max it, I don't really remember, but you would have to do that so that the horse would gain a special gait and you'll also be able to choose your horse's personality. For example, if you choose your horse's personality to be lazy, you would have to keep pressing W to keep them going forward, which in my opinion is really good. That's like, I love personalities. I love in Alicia where the horses have personalities. They don't have like big personalities, but it's kind of cool when, you know, you offer the same food to different horses and some are gonna reject it. You'll also be able to call your horse and your horse will follow you while you walk, which is also quite like, that's a really big thing. And I feel like that's gonna make Star Sable feel so much more alive. And also with the special gate that we're actually gonna have to earn it, I think that's another amazing thing that they're, you know, talking about. They also talked about changing the leveling system for the horses so that we would be able to unlock different things throughout leveling and there would be different ways for us to earn XP. They also mentioned breeding, which is really exciting, but they didn't like go really in depth with it. But I would guess that it's going to be extremely expensive and it'll probably include exclusive or like rare codes. But honestly, I don't know that much about it. They also talked about the wardrobe slash inventory update. Stacy said that they would update it in a way that it would look more like the global shop so, so that you'll be able to keep your sets together or you can separate them and search for things by color, price, stats and things like that. And they're also currently planning on, on like an X amount of new tag meshes to add. 
and they also talked about how there's going to be a break from new meshes and focus will shift to updating the gen 3 horses so that they can all wear tag. This is also something that Esme Silverforce hosted on I think it's Star Sibyl's official discord server. So she said to lessen the tag frustration a bit. Star Sable is currently planning for X amount of new tag meshes to add and when they're added, this will not happen during next year, there will be a break from new meshes and, and focus will shift to updating the gen 3 horses so that they can wear the tag. It's a lot more effective to do many pieces of tag at once, so therefore the Pasofino and the IC couldn't be scooped to have just a few tag pieces they couldn't wear right now, when they would have to be refitted again during the next year. Uh, I don't know if I want to share much of my opinion on this topic in this video because again I don't have that much time, but I just think this is a horrible and lazy idea and let's just move forward. Stacy then talked about star coins and Jorvik shillings and the cap on Jorvik shillings and she basically said that they will not change anything when it comes to star coins on, or Jorvik shilling system because they think the project would take too much time and would need like a big change. This would be a big project and she basically said no to a higher Jorvik shillings cap which is... it's something. They also talked about capping stats at level 25. So you're not gonna be capped at level 25, only your stats are gonna be capped on level 25. And that is just because the animations of your horse and your character would become too distorted if they just capped on, you know, giving you bonuses. I think that's a good thing. When I first heard them talking about it, I thought it would be similar to Alicia, where you can't go past a certain level even though you can keep like getting XP. But I think it's good that you can still be like level, I don't know, 30, because this gives players an, a more even playing field. But I feel like it's gonna be quite a while since, until more players reach level 25. But yeah. The conversation also went into the way of the updated characters. They said that they're working on the animations and improving how they look. And again, mentioning that there will be a second beta test of their newest version early next year. Again, I'm not even gonna go more deep into their updated characters. A very exciting thing is being able to wear more uh, accessories. They talked about how in the future you'll be able to wear glasses and, I don't know, earrings, beard, you know, something like that. You could be able, you'll be able to mix and match. They also talked about updating the championships. They said that they want to equalize or I guess bring the racer stats down to be the same for everyone so that anyone can have the chance to win the championship. I I am not completely sure how I feel about this. I think it is kind of unfair that I don't know if some if like one person is level 24 or 23 and they always like they always win. It is unfair. Um but I don't know. And they also mentioned new horse tag like ear bonnets, breastplates, sheets, and martingales. They also talked a bit about home stable customization, which I think is really exciting. And I'm sure a lot of people would want that, even though you don't spend you know, that much time in your home stable. I feel like there's always talks in this community about how everyone wants some sort of customization for their homes for the home stable so i think it's good that they are listening or planning on doing anything anything like that so these are all of the things that i'm going to talk about in today's video it's really like short i'm going to make a more thorough one tomorrow but just some things that i want to mention again before ending i saw people talk about this and i do agree as exciting as all of these things are star will just again just puts out these ideas when they're like not even in alpha yet they're just talking about them and they say oh they're coming out this year the following year or something like that and it takes years also during the interview anytime stacy was asked a concerning question about you know 
the horrendous updates and things like that. She doesn't really know anything about it, like, she admits that she has no, like, knowledge in crucial game aspects like economy, she doesn't know about the work system that is used in the teams, she also doesn't know about some practice that is being done in the project, and it's just kind of a mess. Um, so again, I wouldn't really expect SSO to add like basically any of these things even next year because like let's take a look at the updated characters you know for the past three years we've been hearing about how yes you'll get them this year and then not she didn't even say that i don't know oh they're basically ready she just said oh yeah we're working on animations and making them look nice so i'm not the most hopeful again but anyway, let me know what you think about all of these new additions to the game in the comments down below and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye!